What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So today I'm partnering up with Fun Lacquer to show you their three new polishes for summer 2022. But before we get into that, if you haven't heard of Fun Lacquer before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based out of Singapore, but they are available internationally. They are 13 free, meaning they're free of 13 of the potentially harmful ingredients that are often found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients. And they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So they just released their Platinum Diamond Toppers Trio. So we've got three brand new toppers. They're all super bright sparkly glitters and they're also magnetic. And all three of the polishes are available in both their gel formula and their regular lacquer formula. So I am going to be swatching both for you, but they are the same color. But the gel polishes require a UV LED lamp to cure and the regular lacquer polishes dry by air. So we with magnetic polishes, there are two main ways that you can magnetize them. We have the cat eye, which is basically when you hold the wand over your nail and it creates like a little line of magnetic sparkly pigment. And we also have the crystal or aura effect where you kind of wave the wand around your nail and it creates this 3D, like it reminds me of the tiger's eye stone, but it, it gives that kind of effect. So I'm going to be showing you both for the regular lacquers. I'm going to just do the cat eye and for the gels, I'm going to do the aura slash crystal style. So yeah, let me show you the swatches. Then we'll talk a little bit about pricing, availability, and my thoughts on the collection. So roll the footage. So we'll start off with this first shade, Green Rose Platinum Diamond. And this one is a really intense green sparkly topper that of course has that magnetic pigment. Now keep in mind, I am showing you both ways to do the magnetic shift. I'm going to show you the crystal or aura pigment first. So when you apply the polish on its own, it just looks like a nice, soft, subtle sparkle. But when you put the magnet around your hand for that crystal pigment, it just starts to get this really intense 3D glow. Now, I love both of them, but this is my preference when it comes to toppers, especially when I'm working with gels, because I can really take as much time as I want to make sure that the polish is just super dimensional. So I'm showing you this one. This is the gel version. It's the exact same version as the regular lacquer version, but I'm going to show you the regular lacquer with the cat eye magnetic style, just because that one is a little bit quicker and it's easier when you're working with fast drying polishes. So here is that regular formula. And again, you can see it's a nice subtle color when it's on its own. And then once you apply the magnet, you can see all of that really vibrant pigment. And one interesting thing about this green one, it's hard to see on camera, but when you're looking at it from extreme angles, you can actually see a little bit of blue into a purple shift. So it's really cool. It definitely has a very multi-dimensional look to it. Moving on, we have the shade Blue Rose Platinum Diamond, and this one is described as an icy blue. Again, it is that really sparkly topper that has a magnetic pigment in it. And when I was applying this one, I felt like it looked pretty light on. It has an almost silvery glow to it, but you can still definitely see that icy blue coloring in there. So again, a little bit more subtle when you're just applying it on its own. But then once you start putting the magnet over it, you can start to see that really intense color build up. And I just think it's so fun, especially when I'm doing this style. I love to just play around and move the pigment around as much as I want. Choosing between the cat eye style and the crystal style and you can really just take your time with it again just because it doesn't dry by air, it cures. So here's what it looks like when it is fully cured and you can see it's just so dimensional and fun. Definitely a nice silvery blue going on there. So here is the regular formula again just applying it and because it's so silvery and icy it does have a nice sparkly silveriness to it when you're just applying it on its own. So it is a fun, subtle topper if you don't want to magnetize it. But personally, I much prefer it magnetized. I think it just looks so cool. And here you can see, again, that super icy pigment. It has that almost silver tinge to it. And on black, it really looks like a little nebula galaxy type of situation. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Lavender Platinum Diamond. And this one was actually my favorite out of the trio. 
video, you know that I love purple nail polish. Well, I also love purple toppers, but this one is another sort of duo chromatic one because at extreme angles, you can see a little bit of pink into orange and even into yellow. So it's pretty subtle. It's hard to see on the nails, but when you're kind of moving your hand around throughout the day, you'll see a little bit more of that. So this one was actually pretty hard to capture on camera. It started to look a little blue on camera where I felt it was a lot more of a warmer purpley color. So hopefully you can still see that. I did color correct it a little bit so you could see some of that purpley shine to it, but it is just so sparkly and fun and pretty. I love the way that it looks with this crystallized effect and it's just so dimensional. I really couldn't stop staring at my nails. And then here is the lacquer being applied for the cat eye pigment. And this one I also actually really loved on its own without even magnetizing. It's hard to see on camera again, but it just looked so pretty on. And then this cat eye style was so hard to capture because it's a little bit of a darker glitter. It's a little bit deeper than the purple rose platinum diamond that they have. So it was being a little camera shy. So here are all of the shades together, the trio of platinum diamond toppers. So the top row is with the crystal effect and the bottom row is with the cat eye effect. They're both the same polish, just in the regular and gel formula and magnetized slightly differently. So you can really do so many things with these and you don't have to wear them over black. I love swatching over black just so you can see the subtle differences, but it's really fun to experiment with these over other colors as well. And I would love to also try doing like a little mix and match situation. I wonder how that would look with the three dimensional effect. So those are the polishes and I have to say, I definitely prefer these with the Aura style. I think they're so beautiful. They're really vibrant and super sparkly and they're really fun to experiment using over different colors. Honestly, I always prefer to wear them over black because I think that has the most dramatic effect. But you can also wear them over like a matching base color or even over a white if you want it to be a little bit more subtle. So it's just a lot of fun to play with. You know how I feel about toppers. I absolutely love them. And one thing I love about gel magnetic polishes in general is that you can really take your time with them. So that's why I always like to do that aura or crystal style on my nails when I'm using gels because I feel like I can just spend as long as I want working on it and it's not going to dry. It's going to be wet and malleable until I cure it under the lamp. So all of these polishes are available on the Fun Lacquer website, like I said, in the regular lacquer formula and in the gel formula. So whichever you prefer is available. They both come in 12 milliliter bottles. The regular formula, of course, comes with the clear glass bottle so you can see through it. The gel bottles are opaque, so you cannot see through them because obviously if they were in the light, they would cure and harden. So that's how you can tell which is which. The regular lacquer formula retails for $14.50 USD each and the gels retail for $19.90 USD each. So I'm gonna link both of them down in the description. You can check them out if you're interested and keep in mind if you are interested in having the magnetic pigment, you either need to have a nail magnet or you need to purchase one separately. But yeah, overall, I definitely enjoyed these. Always happy to add more toppers to my collection and I just can't get enough of magnetic gel polishes just because like I said, I can really take as much time as I want to to play with them and it's just a lot of fun. But I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this collection? Which of the trio is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. I also have a second YouTube channel where I do a little bit more behind the scenes stuff. I'm currently in the process of moving, like I say all the time. That's still going on. I'm actually pre-filming all of these videos in preparation for the move. So if you're interested in that, it is up in the cards. And I also have a podcast. It's not nail polish related, but it is a lot of fun. So I will link that down in the description as well. And of course, a huge shout out to my Cosmic Admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Rocket Man Starter, and Paola. I really appreciate your support and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Haiku and Haiku wants to know, if you had to choose which polish would you wear for all time, like matte green, hollow navy, and no choosing other colors or other finishes? This is probably a very boring answer, but just because I'm so colorful everywhere else, I love to do colorful makeup. I usually have colorful hair. I don't like wearing colorful clothes, but I do like my nails to somewhat match my clothes. So I think I would choose a cream finish and it would be a gray polish, probably just like a medium gray. 
way. That way I could feel comfortable wearing whatever colors on my eyes and my hair and my clothes as I want and I won't feel like I'm tied to it. I feel like that's actually a very similar question to like if you could have one hair color for the rest of your life and I'm currently going through my just like dark hair phase because I felt like I was hitting a wall with whatever color I was wearing in my hair. I felt like I had to match everything so that's why I'm kind of just like sticking to neutrals right now. So if I could only choose one color for my nails I would have to go with something neutral that I could just be colorful everywhere else and so yeah it would be a cream finish in gray which is boring I know <laughs> let me know your answers to that as well in the comments so we can chat about it and I'll see you all in my next video bye